you all for coming. Now, I know this was short notice, but I also know you guys don't have any lives, so I knew you would come right away. Oh, you just assume we don't have any lives, do you? Well, well, of course I do. Well, I'll have you know that I was doing something pretty important tonight. And what was that, Derek? Was it watching anime or something? In matter of fact, yes, I was watching anime. I was watching the brand new episode of Fruits Basket. Derek, literally no one gives a shit about fruit in a basket. Then how dare you talk badly about Fruits Basket, okay? It's about a girl named Turo and she... Ugh, whatever, whatever. Farkle, Farkle, you didn't have anything to do, right? Well, I was looking for a new place to live, but until I got this text saying, please come quick, I might die if you don't. Please, this is not a prank. Come quick. What is with this text? Well, yeah, about that text, yeah, uh, I am gonna die. Well, if I watch Artemis Fowl alone, because I heard that movie was terrible. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. I have to cancel my girl's night out with Sharon because you didn't want to sit here and watch a terrible movie by yourself? Well, you know, I didn't want to suffer watching the movie alone, so that's why I brought all of you here. D don't tell me you're mad about that. Well, of course I'm mad. Just because I love you doesn't mean I can't get pissed off at you. Ugh, this is a waste of my time. <laughs> oh, okay, jeez. I didn't realize you actually had feelings. But anyways, guys, because you're here, let's go ahead and sit down and watch Artemis Fowl, shall we? Oh, hell no, I'm not gonna watch Artemis Fowl. I'm not gonna sit down and watch this shitty-ass movie with you. Jesus, I, I have better things to do. What, what do you say, guys? You, you wanna leave? Yeah, yeah, I, I wanna see if I can give a share. Yeah, I, I still have to find my, my new home. Yeah, well, we're leaving, puppet. You can't leave. You just can't leave. You already got here. Come on, guys, this is dumb. Oh, hell no, you're, you're not leaving that easily. There we go, there we go. And now you can't leave, you know. You're gonna stay right here. And we're gonna watch Artemis Fowl together. Hey, whoa, 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 what the hell? You just can't do this to us. Oh, yes, I can, because if I have to watch Artemis Fowl, you're all gonna have to suffer with me, you hear me? You're all gonna have to suffer. <laughs> Oh dear god, he's finally lost it. Really? I thought you lost it months ago. Well, I guess we have no choice. Yeah, let's let's watch this movie. Oh dear god, that was that was awful! I want to kill myself now. Th does anyone have any rope? You know, if Puppy keeps showing me movies like this if we get married, I probably would have to divorce him. So, uh, does anyone know how Puppet feels about the- the-, the Puppet? Um, should we, um, should we try to stop him? No, no, l let him do it. I, I think he has the right idea. Oh boy, Artemis Fowl! The legends! The genius! The, the criminal masterminds! Basically Jesus at this point! Ugh, oh boy, how, how, how do I describe this film? Hmm. You know what, I have some visuals. I have some visuals right here. Okay, let me get them. Okay, so basically it's a cross of Harry Potter, um, Men in Black, and, well, I don't have Percy Jackson, but, but, but here's a picture. Percy Jackson. And what do you get? You know, you, you put those together into, like, like, like cookie dough. You, you put it together, smash it together, like, really, really good. You put it together, smash it down, put that crap in the oven, and, and what do you produce? What, well, shit. But also, you get Artemis Fowl. <laughs> uh, what were they thinking? What were they thinking when they were creating this movie? What, what, what was going on through their heads when they were, like, greenlighting this film? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! This is bad! This is so bad! Oh, we're running out of ideas! We have no other movie ideas! Oh, man, we've already made all of our good movies! Oh, all we have left is that Black Little Mermaid movie! Oh, oh, what, what do we do now? What do we do now? Oh, well, I guess we can make a live-action version of Frozen, so I guess we'll do that! Mr. Mouse! Mr. Mouse, sir! I've come up with a movie idea, sir! <gasps> you come up with a movie idea? Wait a minute, why are you not wearing a shirt? Don't worry about that, sir! Okay, well, what is the movie idea? Well, I found this book called Artemis Fowl. Artemis Fowl? Well, well, what is Artemis Fowl? Well, it's about a boy. <gasps> it's about a boy? Okay, we'll take it. We'll, we'll make that movie. But, but I didn't tell you anything else, but that's fine. We're running your ideas anyways. I mean, if we can make a billion dollars off copy and pasting The Lion King, then we'll make a ton of money off of... Artemis, what's it called? Artemis Fowl. Artemis Fowl! That will make a movie right now! Yes, we'll find a director! But he doesn't know anything about the movie. Shut up, come with me! You know what? I, I bet you, I bet you that is what was going on in their heads. I bet you that is. You know, this movie was supposed to be a theatrical release. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you call this shit theatrical? Oh, hell 
know, this is a Disney Channel original movie that had a higher budget. That's it. This this belongs on Disney+. Plus. I, I, like, I would have laughed at you if you put this out in theaters. Honestly, this is an embarrassment. Have you seen that Rotten Tomato score? 10%. 10% not, not even the audience would defend this movie, 20% for the audience, like, dear god, like, this is bad, this is, this is really bad, like, Jesus, this is a poorly constructed movie, that, that's the best way to describe this film, a poorly constructed film, because they had a lot of things that could have gone great for this film, like, so much potential, like, I like the world, and the story could have been cool, but, the movie was terribly constructed, I don't know what they were thinking when making this film, I do, not know what they were thinking. Just, oh dear God, just, <laughs> what were they thinking? But anyways, you know, we're gonna go more in depth on this film. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and roll out. Who do you think you are? I'm the next criminal mastermind. that you are not a criminal mastermind you haven't done shit you haven't stolen anything the only evil thing you did was kidnap a girl i mean you didn't rape her and also you gave friends so it don't matter anyways you have done nothing so stop walking around slowly with your goddamn sunglasses act like you're the boss here you've done nothing you've done nothing and yet, like everyone says he's like a genius so I'm like uh, but i haven't seen that i've not seen that he's a genius like literally at all sure he created this cool plan but almost anyone with a brain could, could create a plan like this okay any criminal mastermind literally could make a plan like this and also they're explaining this why he's serving i'm like so what you can ride a couple of legs i've seen penguins do this shit that's not that impressive get on top Okay, just because you could you could surf. And also, you know another thing they said? You know another thing they said? They're like, oh, you know, he's socially awkward. You know, he doesn't get along with people. Even though in this movie, he basically gets along with everyone except that therapist. Like, literally the only person he has not gotten along with. We, we have zero examples of him getting along with no one, okay? He's gotten along with every single person he's encountered, okay? I, I don't understand this shit. I don't, I, I don't understand. Okay? So, basically, this movie is about Artemis. His dad gets kidnapped. Oh, no, daddy's gone. The daddy is gone and gets kidnapped by some weird creature that honestly should just take a goddamn cough drop at this point. Because I can't understand what the hell you're saying. You're like, she sounds like this. Yeah, she got your weird kidnapped, your father. Like, Jesus, are you trying to be Donald Duck or something? Like, Jesus, it's like, like, take a cough drop. Take something to clear up that throat of yours. Like, Jesus. Hello? Your family has taken some Think of great value from us. Return it to me or I will destroy everything you love. And also, we don't even get to see who this person is. We don't even know who this person is because sequel, I'm like, bitch, you're not getting a sequel. This movie does not deserve a sequel. If you set the movie and did the movie right, maybe you could have got a sequel, but hell no, no one probably wants a sequel from you at this point. Don't, don't do this shit. We, we don't even know who this person is. We, we, we they actually don't even go to meet this person. Artemis Fowl does not even come to contact with this person. Because magic. And I'll explain that later. I'll explain that bullshit later as well. So, yeah, Artemis Fowl, as I said, is a genius. You know, father gets kidnapped and stuff. And also, we have some other characters, which he has a black guy. And the worst part about that is, of course, he's the butler. He's the help. He's the servant. Of course, the black guy is the servant. You can't put the black guy in any other role, could you? You just, you just have to put him as the servant character. Also, when things go bad, you know, like the, the butler says he called for help. He doesn't call anyone that can help in this situation. You know what he calls? He calls his niece, sister. I don't know who the hell it is. He calls a 12-year-old child. A 12-year-old child for this situation. You, you think that was the best solution? And you know what she does? She makes sandwiches. Oh, wow, you're, you're so useful. Yeah, they're not stereotypical at all. Wow, th thanks for making a sandwich for him. J Jesus, this movie just like... Uh. You know, there was one pretty good character in this movie, and that was the fairy. I don't remember her name because I don't care at all, but she was 
probably the only person that was giving a pretty good performance and the most interesting character because, for one thing, her story did not just take place in the goddamn house the entire time. The entire movie, the entire movie took place at Foul Manor. At Foul Manor, I thought we were going to go around the world. You remember that shot in the trailer where the fairy just became like, this old lady became like, okay, here's a clip of it. No, you will believe. Artemis fell. Wait, you remember that? That was super cool. That, that's not in the movie because they don't leave the house. <laughs> they just don't leave at all. I mean, sure, we go to another location, which is the fairy world, which is basically White Man's Wakanda because they have all the sorts of technology and Magic, because for some reason, they can basically cure anything. Then if someone's dying, they have magic to fix that. <laughs> they, they do. And also, they have a magic egg that can literally do anything for you. Wish it, and it appears. Wow. You actually have something like that. You literally have something. I don't remember what it's called. Something like stupid, like the art of a card. Whatever, I'm just calling it the golden egg, and that's what it looked like with numbers on it. Yeah, you had that. It's just... They, 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 these people are basically the men in black of the, the fairy world, basically. They also could stop time, bitch. Can you believe that they could stop time? And also, they also erase people's memories. Oh, they're, they're basically the men in black at this point. And of course, you know, Artemis kidnaps her and she's all pissed off. But you know how they bond? You know how they actually become friends? They talk about their parents. Oh, wow, it seems like that situation works out for everyone, even superheroes. You're living. Kill Martha! It's his mother's name! It's his mother's name! I don't understand this. They just become friends that instantly. You know, that fairy girl in the movie must have been really important because apparently Grandma Fairy decides to bring her entire Star Wars army all the way to the Foul House for, for some reason because, you know, we can't have a movie without a giant, you know, futuristic type of battle. <laughs> yeah, Grandma Fairy. Oh, dear God. She, she's just, this actress has just had so much bad luck because, honestly, I did not want to see her just because I'm still having nightmares from cats. We're about to begin. Ugh, she just, they won't get out of my head. The pussies, they just, they won't leave my head. Oh my god, you know, this movie, this movie made me feel like I was stupid because half of the time, I had no idea what the hell was going on. Did, did you always have this problem too? Because half of the time, I had no idea what was going on. They kept saying words and gibberish stuff like, honestly, I, I, I act like I'm the stupid one, but no. Movie, you are the stupid one. You're trying too hard to be goddamn Harry Potter. Too much goddamn exposition. Okay, you, you can't just put that much. There, there was no movie. It's just basically exposition the movie. So they can make a goddamn sequel. You're not Harry Potter, bitch. Get over it. Okay, just because you have your own Hagrid doesn't mean anything. Okay? Okay. Jesus. Just screw this movie. Ugh. You know, I didn't even know what the hell Artemis' plan was. I, I, do you know? I hardly knew, basically. I thought he was just pulling all this shit out of his ass and like, you know, we kidnapped the fairy. What do we do next? Oh, their army's coming. What, what do we do now? Oh, look at Adorps here. Perfect. Uh, it was all court. I bet you he was pulling all this shit out of his ass. I bet he had no plan the entire time. I bet you he had zero plans. This movie's dumb. This movie is dumb. Did you know Hagrid from Harry Potter was an Artemis Fowl? Sure, hell, I didn't know. But well, yeah, I mean, sure, it, it's not Hagrid. But it, it, it sure as hell, it probably is Hagrid. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this picture. You, you're telling me this is not Hagrid. This character is played by Josh Gad, and you know he's fine. He's actually pretty okay in the movie. I don't, I don't hate him. I don't really hate him at all. I mean, even though like he had this like weird like like um trying to like uh, um, how am I trying to describe this? Um, I could probably do an impression like, oh yeah, all of this foul. He was he's the criminal mastermind. Like he had something in his throat basically, but also he was not consistent at all. Like at points he had that thing in his throat, and points he was just talking normal like Josh Gad, like he was goddamn Olaf. And, uh, well, it just wasn't consistent. But his character was fine, but also just horrifying. I mean, it's, it's horrifying. Like, the things that he does with his mouth. I should not see that. That is something I literally have not wanted to see in my lifetime. But of course, that's how he digs. Because dwarfs dig. And they put stuff in their mouths. I didn't know dwarfs could do that shit. I thought they'd just mind and say hi-ho all the time. But apparently they do that. Never... Never wanted to see that at all. 
Not at all. Oh, also, and Hagrid's the one who actually is narrating the entire movie. Why? Is this a story you actually have to narrate? And also, how do you know all this shit happened? How, how do you know what happens? I don't, I don't understand how you know every single little detail that happened. Sure, maybe Artemis told you because apparently this was all his plan. Because Artemis Jesus at this point. But still, like, did you really have to narrate it in that voice? It's just so annoying. Like, we don't need a goddamn narrator. We're not children, okay? We're adults watching this film. Well, there are children. But no, we don't. We didn't need a narrator. Like, at all. This is not that kind of story. They're in that house the entire time. Well, why the hell do you need a narrator just to tell you a story about some kid doing some shit in his house? Ugh, just whatever. Whatever. I'm just, okay. Let's talk a little bit about the actor, Artemis Fowl. Um, I really don't want to be that mean about the actor. I mean, I know he's trying, but he's just, he's not good. He's, he's like, he has zero emotion. Like, he's a Lion King character. Zero emotion. Like, he's acting like he's so cool and stuff, but he's not. But he, he's not. And literally, like, when it comes to the emotion parts, he's bad at it. He is so bad at it. And also, like, when he's trying to yell, like, kids should be able to scream like a little bitch. Like, no! No! But he wasn't able to do that. Like, every time he was supposed to scream, it was terrible. It was just embarrassing. It's like he was trying too hard. Okay, it's, it's just bad. I think the rest of the cast is okay, as I said. Like, I just think Artemis' um, actor is just, like, the worst. Um, like, I like Josh Gad. He did a pretty okay job. And also the fairy. Um, I don't remember her name. But, you know, she was probably the best part of this film. Like, she was the most interesting character. And also, yeah, 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 she did have that storyline with her dad is dead. And I, I know how I feel about, um, you know, parents being dead. Because apparently, like, kids' films can't tell a story without a parent being dead. Like, literally, every single kid's film I see has a parent being dead. That is the stupidest thing. Can we stop with this? Okay, most people, like, yeah, I understand kids don't have parents, but not every single kid in every single movie world does not have a parent, okay? Like, uh, be a little consistent, okay? Please. Uh, okay, okay. And, of course, this movie was a destroying the world plot by Mrs. Um, I, uh, this was such a dumb name. I had to write it down. Let's see here. Well, let me put on my spectacles. Let's see. What what was it called again? Opal Koi Boy. Opal, Opal Koi Boy. What the hell kind of name is Opal Koi Boy? What? I don't know if I'm reading this word, but that was the name of the villain. Opal Koi Boy wants to destroy the world for, for some... Why do you want to destroy the world? Well, why do you want to destroy... What, what, what kind of joy does that bring you? Like, well, what would you gain from destroying the... I don't understand your plan. I really, like, for Thanos, it was understanding why he wanted to destroy half of the population. When in this situation, like, why do you care? What, why should you give a shit about destroying the world? Like, what, 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 what has the world done to you? Well, well, probably a lot of things, and that's why you want to show me. Why do you care? Why? Why? Because she, she, also that egg, that stupid egg can literally do anything. If you, if you want it, it, it could happen. Wish it. But apparently if humans do it, you know, you could die. You die. So you would think Artemis might attempt to do it, but he didn't. No, l luckily enough, his fairy friend was there, and basically... She brought his dad back to life, and that's how they didn't have to leave the house, because that, that egg could do anything. Honestly, if I had that egg, I would never give it back to the fairies, like, at all. It, it, well, well, technically, I couldn't use it, so I guess there's no reason to keep it. But still, like, that is such a stupid thing to have in your world. Just... Uh, also, like, Artemis Fowl gave him a list, uh, well, her a list, of all the villains that were trying to take the egg or something. I don't know. So, basically, you have that list. You know, what do you do with it? You tell the wishing egg to kill them. Because it can literally do anything. So why not ask the magic egg to literally kill your enemies? Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything else. But but they don't think about that in the end of the movie. They, they don't think about that, now do they? They, they just, they just don't. You know? You know? I feel like I'm being really hard on this movie, and of course I'm being hard on it. I, I need to be hard on this movie. This movie is terrible. It's garbage. The structure and the story, it's, it's like there's no three-act structure, literally. Like, we, we, we start in the house, okay? You know, we, we see the fairy world. The plot starts to get somewhere. Th then act three, 
I don't know where Act 3 starts at all. Literally, is the troll Act 3? Is that like the final boss? Like, I don't know what the three-act structure is. There is no three-act structure. They're literally just in the foul house the entire film. The only other location we get to see is basically like the fairy world, which was cool, and also basically where the like where Artemis' dad is being held by that evil person that just gets a goddamn cough drop. But yeah, yeah, that 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 is the movie in general. And I was just Ugh, like, we could have gone somewhere else, you know. We, we could at least have left the house, but no, we, no, no, we, we, we didn't do that. Ugh, you know, but honestly, I, I actually really don't hate the film. I actually really don't hate the film that much. It, surprising, surprisingly, the movie is actually entertaining. I actually, I didn't say I enjoyed completely what I was watching, but it's like, I was entertained enough to like, I kind of like some of these characters and the world they create. I definitely love the world they create. It's like, very interesting, you know, the fairies. I love to see more of this. It's just, the execution is just terrible. Just terrible. This movie has so much potential. So much potential, but they just don't go on that potential. It sucks. Like, this could have been a great film. I, I could have made a better film, honestly. Just like, this could have been a great film with what they had, but they didn't. They didn't do any of that. And I heard in the books that Artemis Fowl is actually a villain. In this movie, he's not a villain. Literally, he is not a villain. Because Disney is like, well, we, we can't have villains. Just like with Maleficent, she can't be a villain. People cannot root for the villain. Like, Jesus, really, j just have some balls, Disney. Just have some goddamn balls, okay? It's like, And that's the reason I don't hate this film. Because so much potential. And honestly, I know what I said earlier. But honestly, if they made a sequel to this movie, I would actually be excited for it. I wouldn't mind a sequel. Hopefully they can improve it, get a better director, and maybe, well, they probably won't recast Artemis Fowl, but honestly, just get a better director and make this mo second movie. Hopefully it'll be good, but I highly doubt that because it's Disney, so <laughs> yeah, but if they do make a sequel, honestly, I would be happy for it. I just, like, there's so many problems, but I honestly, I sort of enjoyed myself with this film, even though it's bad, just I like the world and just some of the characters and just things that happen, okay? Like, I'm interested in this world now, okay? Like, after watching it, I'm a little interested in it, okay? Also, something I did forget to talk about was the action scenes. Oh, that was that was just so bad. Like, literally, their version of action is stop motion here, uh, let's speed up the action right here. Literally, there was one action scene that just annoyed the shit out of me. It's just like, they thought it was so cool just to speed up everything that was happening, speed it up, and then slow it down to a slow motion shot and then speed up shots. Like, that's not how you do action. You just let it play out. You, no one does this. So, sure, slow motion shots can be fun, but you just don't do that that often. Okay, literally almost every action scene had a slow motion shot. So stupid. Also, also, there was a scene in the movie where Black Man was about to die. They made us think that he was about to die. You gotta be, of course you made it. Of course it was the black guy. You're gonna make us believe that it was gonna die. Of course he didn't die, but, but just don't do any stupid fake outs. We, I don't like these fake outs, okay? Stop doing these fake outs. Okay, you did this shit with Scooby Doo. You did it with Scoo. I, I didn't like that, okay? I didn't like that. Just stop doing this stuff. Okay. Okay. Also, Artemis' mother is dead. Luckily enough, they don't go on that at all. Like, that's no thing, no emotional spot for foul at all. But that, that's just the thing they said. Okay. I think I talked about everything about this film. I really think I talked about everything. I think I got everything off my chest for Artemis Fowl. So, yeah. Uh, would I recommend go watch this? Hell no. I would not recommend watching it. Like, at all. It's, it's not really worth your time. Um, the only reason I watched it is because I was bored. Plus, like, reviews. So, that, that was literally the only reason why I went to go see this movie. But, anyways, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> that's my review. So, yeah. Th th thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I guess we'll see you all next time. So, goodbye, everybody. Ugh.